What was doing? Uh, so yeah, this is the uh, Yuri route. So we'll probably save Yuri for last. So uh, let's uh, see if I could pick someone. Siri is always like middle of it, so I might as well just pick her first. Oh, say Siri. I like this one, she tells me. It has a nice feeling in it, Siri tells me. It sounds like similar, but it is new, so I guess that skip button won't come out. Um, yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad. Uh, does that mean that it's better than yesterday's, Siri? Mm, let me think, says Yuri. I don't know, says Yuri. I guess I like both of them, she tells me. She giggles. That's not very helpful, you know. Well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad, says Yuri. But that's just why I just go what my heart goes by. Wait, what? But that's why I just go by my heart. There you go, there you go. I don't know why I was having a hard time figuring that out. Um, if it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem, she says. Like, I'm not sure exactly how that works. Then again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of this whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in this place. Uh, yeah, says Yuri. Me neither, she says. Ugh. Why don't you at least try giving us some thoughts? Huh, Yuri? Uh, why won't you write something for me? Y you're in the other one. You're right here. That's so sweet, she says. Yeah, right. <laughs> but if you're always thinking about other people, you need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Oh, actually, probably a good idea. I need to save. Uh, this is Yuri route, so I gotta go here. There we go. Uh, but yeah, like I said, if you, uh, if you don't, then you might end up getting hurt at some point. Huh? Says Yuri. Well, says Yuri. I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep it in mind, says Yuri. Well, whatever. What ifs? Anyways, uh, let's see, says Yuri. Hmm. She likes happy poems, I guess. Sometimes she likes sad poems, too, for some reason. Sometimes a little bit of both, she says. Uh, there's a word for that, right? She says. Tell me, she's asking me. Uh, well, what's the word she's looking for? She says. Bittersweet. Happy, sad, bittersweet. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, she says. I like things that are happy and things that are sad, says Yori. Happy and sad? I can't see you liking something sad, Siori. Well, says Siori, I like happy the most. But sometimes when you have a little rain cloud on your head, a sad poem can help you uh, give that rain cloud a little hug, she says. And make a nice happy rainbow, she says. Siori, that's unexpectedly poetic. We're, well, maybe you might, might write down your poem, so maybe I'll have to see it soon, uh, later. Eventually. Uh, Siori, surprise. Maybe I'm just getting better at expressing my feelings after all, she says. To me. <laughs> Gotta spit something. <clears throat> uh, she tells me thanks. Uh, I should go... Uh, sh yeah, she wants to go write that down now. Write that down, write that, that down! Sorry. Uh, uh, you can read my poem now, she says. Alright, so what is yours? This is new for me. Well... I mean, and story-wise, yeah, it's new, so. Uh, bottles. I pop off my, uh, scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's a secret place where I keep all my dreams. Uh, little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put in a bottle to keep it safe, and I put that bottle on a shelf with all of the other bottles. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, in a bottle, all in a row. My collection makes me lots of friends. Each bottle is a starlight to make amends. Well, actually rhymes. Uh, sometimes my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. 
Hmm. Uh, night after night, more dreams. Uh, I thought I'd be going, whatever. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my finger goes. I like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks of crannies. Digging and digging, scrapping and scrap. Wait, man, she's just reaching up for a cookie jar. That's one. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friend looks through my locked front door. Finally, all done. I open up. And then come my friends. Come my mother. And they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottle that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf, one after the other, holding them out to each other, every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the title between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, in shard all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo. It sounds like that song, echo, echo. No, no, it's an echo one. Hestron, I think? No, no, trapped. That's what I remember. Inside my head. I'm thinking I just remember it's just her trying to reach for a cookie jar and it just broke or something. Holy crap! Did you write this? Of course I did, says Yori. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was gonna write the best poem ever? I went through three different days. Uh... And I'm just very... Uh, I just can't remember as much. Sorry, sorry. I just really cannot remember. <laughs> yeah. No. But... I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot, Siori says. And I've been really in touch with my feelings recently, says Siori. Ah, I see that. It's almost kind of creepy, don't you think? Creepy, says Siori. Well... Well, not exactly creepy. Maybe because I'm so used to you being cheerful. Maybe carefree. Carefree, yeah. Well, never mind. Like, I'm, I'm thinking too hard about it. Yeah. Uh, the point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Aw, oh, thanks, says Yori. I feel like, says Yori, I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better, Siri says. Writing is like magic. You've, uh, she says to me, uh, you've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? Siori, I told her. Like, I hope you keep it up. Yeah, says Siori. Writing's the best, says Siori. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. Uh, I still want you to live, so, you know, keep on living. Uh, don't go ahead of yourself there, please. Please. Uh, Siori always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it in no more than a week later. I wonder if this is one of those times. But seeing that passion in her eyes makes me makes it harder for me to be pessimistic. She has her eyes closed. Alright, so 